not will. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in him. And be glad in him. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in him. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. And be glad in him. Oh, this is the day that the Lord. Well, I will rejoice and be glad in him. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord Good morning and Happy New Year. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today, as we begin this new year, we celebrate the solemnity of Mary as the Holy Mother of God, and that's who she is, from how we learn how to live as good children of God. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord.
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it has been told to them. When the eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. When the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman. That's what St. Paul says this morning. And that is the mystery that we celebrate today. Mary, as the Holy Mother of God, it is the, such a mystery that St. Paul has talked about. God sent his son, and yet he was born of a woman. How many of us feel uncomfortable, especially when we are with other people from different churches, not the Catholic church, and to speak out loudly and proudly that Mary is the mother of God? How many feel uncomfortable? That is good. You feel uncomfortable? Really? Okay. <laughs> you are not supposed to feel uncomfortable. Mary is the mother of God. And this is not just a dogma that was created by an intelligent pope and imposed on our church. This has a biblical foundation. Remember, on Christmas Day, the gospel that we read, the beginning of the gospel according to St. John, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And then he said, and the word became flesh. And when this word became flesh, it was conceived and grew in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So we should not feel uncomfortable. It's a biblical foundation that we celebrate. Jesus is God, and Mary is the mother. So we cannot separate that Mary is the mother of a human person of Jesus and not of God. She is the mother of God because that is what the scripture, the sacred scripture tells us. And as we all believe, the sacred scripture is an inspiration word of God. It is inspired. So yes, Mary is the mother of God and we should not feel uncomfortable. We have to speak out loudly and proudly that she is the mother of God. And that's what God made her to be. Through the visitation of an angel to her, the angel made very clearly the calling of Mary to become the mother of God. And when we celebrate this solemnity, it does not just end there. It is calling us to look at Mary as our mother as well. That's what St. Paul is saying. Through his son, through the son of Mary, through the son of God, we have become children of God. 
sons and daughters of God. So Mary becomes our mother, not just in faith, in everything. Mary is our mother that we can look up to and learn from her in many ways. We learn from her how she responded to God's call. Remember those important words. I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. There she cooperated with the spirit of God. She submitted. And that's what we learn, you and I, because God continues to call us to be part of this mystery of salvation to so many people are yet to believe. And then we learn from her when she heard from the angel that her cousin, Elizabeth, was expecting a child, and she was advanced in age. Mary, in haste, she went to help her cousin. With humility, she went to save. We learn from her from that way of life. We have to be humble for us to save others. Remember, even in her Magnificat, she says, God has looked upon with favor upon his lowly servant. That's how she regarded herself, a lowly servant. She never showed to the world, I am the mother of, the Lord, of God, no. And that's what we have heard from the gospel today. When she heard from the shepherds, when she heard even from Anne and Simeon, she kept all these things in her heart and reflecting upon them. She was always a lowly servant. And that's what we learn from Mary, our mother, to be lowly servants and not to be proud people of nothing in this world, but to be there and to save God as his servants in his mission. We do not worship Mary. Mary was born just like ourselves. The only incarnation birth we know is for Jesus Christ. But we revere her. We give her great reverence because she's the mother of God. And that is what other churches said about us. You worship Mary. We don't. And we know that. We, we worship God. But we give great respect, great reverence, to Mother Mary because of how she responded to God's call to become the mother of our Savior. So we should not be ashamed, we should not feel uncomfortable to tell the world that Mary is the mother of God and is our mother. And from her we learn so much about our faith and about how we have to live our lives as children of God in this world. And as we begin this uh, new year, we get the same blessing like she did, the blessing that we have heard from the book of Numbers, God blessing us with his kindness, with his peace, especially today in our church, we remember that this is a world day of prayer for peace. We have to bring that peace, especially we learn from Mother Mary, who was the mother of of the Prince of Peace. She was a very peaceful mother. And in all everything, she was quiet, she was listening. And that is where we should be. The way Mary brought the, uh, Jesus to the world is the way we have to carry him as a Prince of Peace, as a Prince of Love. Wherever we are, let's be like Mary, carrying Jesus in our lives and bring him to all people that we save. Again, Mary is the mother of God, and that is what we have to believe is coming from the scripture. And let us be devoted. Let's use her in our prayers, and she's very helpful if we give devotion to her.
Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one Lord, Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we begin the new year, we present our prayers and petitions in thanksgiving for so many blessings that we had in the past year and also to pray that we have a new life in this year. For Pope Francis, who shows to the church and the world, attend a devotion to Mary, the mother of God and spouse of Joseph, a woman of faith and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that, assisted by the prayers of Mary, she will reshape parish life with creativity and sensitivity, and so enrich celebrations of the liturgy, pastoral care, outreach to the poor, and evangelization in a world severely damaged by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of confidence as the world starts a new year, that knowing that life can never return to past times, cooperation, imagination, and justice will shape a new time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For respect of human life from conception to each stage of development until death itself, that the God-given dignity of each person will be the foundation of peace among the peoples of this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for safety on our roads at this time and the security of children during their holidays. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our personal intentions and prayers, we present them to God in silence. Almighty God and Father, as you receive our prayers this morning in thanksgiving for our Mother Mary, we pray, Lord, that our parish may continue to be a beacon of hope, faith, love, peace, and justice to all our communities through Christ our Lord.
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man and woman in your own image and entrusted the whole world to their care so that in saving you alone, their creator, they might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience they had lost your friendship, you did not abandon them to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offer them covenants, and through the prophets, told them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father, most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor I proclaim the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrow of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bring to perfection his work in the world, he must sanctify creation, to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit gracious sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own way in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection Until you come again Until you come again Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption We remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead, we proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now, all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and the all order of bishops, or the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all seek with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heaven inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us safely offer each other a sign of Christ's
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O oh Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout this year. Amen. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the Lord. Amen. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Oh. Uh -huh.